Good morning, beautiful people. It might not be morning where you are, but it's morning here. And our salt water tank is doing very well. It's cleared up beautifully. It's been running for a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah, something like that, isn't it? Something like that. It's not cycled because there's nothing in it that would cycle it. <laughs> no. I think we definitely got the uh, lighting, hang on, let's brighten that, dialed in for nothing in the tank, haven't we? Yeah. No algae no. at all. So it's but on the morning setting currently. But yeah. No nutrients. So no probably, nutrients, you know, that's no true. No algae. Yet. Yet. And I say yet because I've been on the internet buying macro algae. To start with, I just got a couple of packages, going to put them in, or a couple of pieces, I guess. But there's loads to choose from from different suppliers. I'm just going to get them in and get them growing. They do need nutrients though, and apparently you can use planted tank fertilizers, is that right? Um, I've seen it done quite I've a done few it. times, yeah. So I don't see, yeah, why not? I guess the only thing is, I'd say, little thing, depending on which brand you use, there could be different nutrients in them. Mm. So be careful. I know leaf zone is only macro nutrients, which is not what nutrients. We want. Um, Elements, that's what I'm trying to say. Trace elements. Trace yeah. elements. So it should be okay. Which I used before on my previous reef. I say reef loosely, there wasn't a lot of reefy stuff in it, a couple of corals and that sort of thing, but there was quite a lot of macroalgae and I used leaf zone and it grew amazing, so we're going to do that again. Okay, so here's what we've got. We've got red algae and we've got green algae. I'll put the names up on the screen because I haven't got a clue. Did I just say the screen? Maybe. Ah. You've, you've been struggling with words, haven't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so no idea how... I know how this one works. Like, it's got, like, a, a rooty system that goes yeah. all through the sand. Is this the same? I have no idea. I don't know what species that is. Oh, uh, we'll just chuck it in, hope for the best. Yeah, it'll be all right. It'll keep growing. It'll probably grow on the rock. Okay. I would expect, because it looks like it attaches itself. It's not got a root system on it. No, yeah, it hasn't, so... it? We'll research it, but yeah, I think it's going to go on the No, <laughs> we won't. Yeah, we will. We're going to chuck it in and see let's, what happens. Let's chuck you it know in. it. <laughs> research it. <laughs> Never in the history of us being here have we seriously researched anything because you know most of it. That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And salt water, though, is a new thing for us. That's true. In, to, to this degree. Yeah. Like macro algae and stuff. I yeah. just said algae. Algae, you are. Oh, are I'm you? American. Yeah, you're all right today, aren't you? <laughs> the Americans will be pleased. Algae. <laughs> now, is our substrate deep enough? No. To I don't think it is. We just have to hook it in the, yeah, in the rocks, I think aren't it we? It will be eventually. Yes, I want to go. Go on, then. Oh, I'm you're doing pick, that one, are you? Yeah, I'm going to pick the perfect place for the red, and it's going to be... It needs light, doesn't it? For Probably. Sure. So I'm going to just wedge it in this little gap. And hope for the best. And there we go, done. Hope it just keeps growing, and as it does, I can split it, put it in different places. Salt water feels very different. Doesn't it? <laughs> so this one hasn't posted great. We're experiencing a cold snap in the UK at the moment, but it's an algae. So it should... Yeah, well, the cool thing with this one, I vaguely remember this one, is, as far as I remember, every bit of the plant can grow root. So, a bit like a moss, I suppose? It yeah. doesn't really grow roots, but if you look, there's a leaf here, look, and a root has grown out the middle of that blade of leaf. That's weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so as far as I remember, I remember watching something on it years ago, and it is the, it, it, if you break a bit off and it likes the environment, it can just root and grow. Ideal. So it hopefully... Should be, it should be impossible for this not to work. Yeah. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Chuck it in, Matt. Just chuck it in. Well, I want to sort of get the root in, don't I? <laughs> <sighs> it's too early for that. <laughs> and we don't, want, said. we don't want it in the front, do we? <laughs> Yeah, screw it. There's nothing else in the tank. I do want it in the front. Look at you scaping. That'll do, Matt. Yeah, just bung it in. Put some sand over it, see? There's one bit left. So that's locked in. A little bit of flow. She's there. Oh, we've got so several bits. Yeah, this is what I was thinking. It's like... Colour-wise, it's not looking great at the moment, let's be honest. No. But it will do. It's going to bounce back, for sure. Please drape that over your fringe. No, because it's salt water and it's disgusting. <laughs> I, don't, I remember, I remember now why salt water is not my favourite thing to do. Everything ends up crusty. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon go back here, look, where there's no sand. Now watch the inlet. Oh yeah, there's an inlet there, isn't there? <laughs> oh, 
Damn it. Yeah, that'll do, Matt. Just you have to get it there. Though. We're not even going to touch this now for a few more weeks because I'm going to order a load more stuff. So the next clip you're going to see will be it, like, evolved quite a bit, hopefully. More sort of growth everywhere. Or a brown mess. Or, or that. <laughs> so here we are now, and here we are in two weeks later. Two weeks? No, it was more than that. It is more than that. I can't even remember. More like three to four. Yeah, I think like it's that. nearly four now. Yeah. Um, so, some of the seaweed that we put in, we're calling it seaweed now, aren't we, Matt? We've yeah. decided that algae and seaweed are the same thing. Yeah, it's still the same thing. Seaweed sounds way oh, better. The people in the comments, there's definitely going to be someone who knows, who <laughs> who knows, knows what. knows the difference. Yeah, I don't. We don't, so we're calling it seaweed. So, the seaweed here that's um, the greeny one, it's sort of not taken, but some bits look half okay. We're just going to leave it. The red, though, in the middle, has grown loads. Yeah. It's like come right up out, but it's still locked in. So You only it. need a segment of that, though, remember, to survive. The green, for, you mean? Yeah, for it to then sprout and grow again. So it might just take a bit of time, a bit more nutrients. Yeah, I'm happy to leave it because at the end of the day, it's cycled the tank, look, yeah. because it's now crystal clear. Yeah, yeah it's it hasn't testing been like up that for fine, ages. isn't it? So yeah, are you testing, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I tested on whatever day it was. Yeah, whatever day it was. I didn't test at all because I just thought we didn't need well, to. Well, there's nothing in no. there. No, because we knew because I knew that we were going to be possibly getting ready to uh, introduce. Yes, uh, I thought this, it'd be best. <laughs> this down here is this the same diatoms that you would? Is it diatoms? Pretty much, yeah. Sort of like it's the same sort of thing that you get in a freshwater tank as it's sort of cycling, as it were. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'll it'll die back, and obviously we'll get a few little critters in there to clean it up a little bit. Yeah, no, it's good. It just shows, like, it's not a sterile environ yeah. environment. Environment. <laughs> Struggling with that one. <laughs> so we are about to go to some shops that have got things. <laughs> things to put in salt water tank. I don't know, OK? I don't know yet. That's why we're going. Yep. You can hopefully sort of explain when we're there. But we're looking for, like, critters more than anything, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. We'll get some snails and some crabs and some... Maybe a couple of little soft corals, we'll see. Okay, yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, just something like... Some easy, easy stuff, yeah. Something easy and simple, just to start us off. I like the pulsing Xenia. Xenia, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yep. See? We'll see if they've see? got any I'm of that. I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just go there. Look at that. That's all right. Well, you don't need to wobble even more. I swear you're wobbling. You're driving wobbling more now I'm that not. I'm holding the camera. Oh, it's a straight road. Mm. Uh, I'm excited. Now I'm excited. I'm not going to lie oh, to what? you. For like, yeah to get something in there. Yeah, like okay. this has not been that interesting to me so far because I'm so used to wham, bang, yeah, thank look, you, man, it's <laughs> done. Plants, fish, done. Next one. Like, yeah, no, like, I can understand It's been that. a month and I've just, I've, to, to be honest, most of the time I forget it's even there. <laughs> oh yeah, the salt water is over there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, no, salt but, water is a, is a bit of a longer process. It is, it is. But now I'm getting excited. Yeah. Because um, even when I did my previous one, I still just put it all in straight away. Yeah, yeah. And it was fine. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? Sometimes you get away with it and it works, doesn't it? But yeah, I think when you're talking of like the money that you're going to invest into a saltwater tank, you're probably better off taking it slow yeah. and getting yeah, it all yeah. introduced properly. Definitely. I mean, the first one I did was like DIY. Yeah. And loads of rocks already had. So I hadn't really put any money into yeah, it yeah. at all. Like, whereas this is different. It's like a proper setup, a proper kit. But I'm looking forward to getting just life in the tank, stuff that's filmable, viewable, yeah. you know, enjoyable. Yeah. Seeing it grow as well. Just uh, like pulsing Xenia, I can't remember, does it, Xenia? Z yeah, Xenia, Xenia. Xenia, yeah. Does it grow quick? It can do, can yeah. Remember. It's um, like, I think, well, it's a bit of a funny one. Like most aquariums, they treat it like a weed. So people hate it because it that. just like goes mental. Um, but sometimes I've had it in aquariums where it doesn't always like take. So yeah, it doesn't always grow as fast. I've had some aquariums where it's covered like end to end, top to bottom. But I quite like that. I think it looks cool. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna look cool. Can we get other things as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get some button polyps maybe, some like little green or blue, blue, not blue, green or red button polyps would be nice. Yeah, yeah we'll okay. have a look what they've got. I'm really hoping they've got some more um, seaweed. Maybe. Mac not a lot algae. of shops stock seaweed, though. No? No, not a lot of shops. We'll see what they've got. They might do. I suppose it's not popular enough. No. It's more it's of a, a bit, niche. Yeah, it's a bit of a niche hobby. It's getting more popular. Slowly but surely, it's getting more popular. Can but... we get an enemies today? No. Oh, it's been a month. No. Oh, no, okay, no, okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forget. Yeah, it's not a plant. It's a, it's life. Yes. It's not the plant. It's a life. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 exactly. It's an animal. It's yes, not it is an animal, yeah. Yeah, so you can't just you can't just chuck that in and hope for the best. It's <laughs> a bit different to that. Okay, we're nearly there. Yeah, cool. 
No, we're not. We're not. No, we're not. not we're miles there. away. But <laughs> that's the magic of television. <laughs> television? Well, they, people watch it on television. That is they? true, yeah. 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 We are here, Matt. We are. We have arrived. And, oh my goodness, this <laughs> over here <laughs> is the world's biggest spade. I don't know if it is the world's biggest spade. No, that sounds better. Does it? Yeah. Okay. Let's it get, is let's the get world's, a closer look. world's biggest spade. It is quite large. I don't care what anyone says, this is definitely, I don't know why I'm doing that, but this is the world's most biggest spade, for sure. Surely, oh. <laughs> Sorry about your lights. Yeah, world's most broken light. Why do I fall over everything? I don't know. It's a big spade, isn't it? I'm gonna put it out there. If yeah. anyone can prove there's a bigger spade that isn't Photoshopped. Yep. Let us know, because yeah. I don't think there is. <laughs> Oh, I should probably mention we are at Cadbury Garden Centre. Yep. There better be some chocolate here. No. Hey, well, uh, there for is. American people, that's, that's our version of Hershey's. Not version of, but, you know, ours is better. <laughs> oh, can I... Actually, I had Hershey's when I was over the States. It's actually really nice. I really liked it. I did. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't like it. There's, like, all sorts here. I think people are... Oh, my goodness, Matt. Yeah. Is this the... The actual North Pole. Yeah, it's nuts, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, you wouldn't happen to know where the uh, fish shop is, would you? Oh, rude. <laughs> Matt, we've been walking for 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. Where is? Surely you know where it is. You've been here lots. It's Are you lost? A little bit. That. I think we've got to go round. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for the sign postage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've arrived. Made head aquatics. Uh, Cadbury. <laughs> Right, we'll have a look round. So we're obviously predominantly here for the salt water stuff, but obviously I'm gonna to wanna to look at... You can't not look at the freshy as well. If there's something good, I'll just get that Okay. as well. Because we've got the storage tanks. Yep, we've got loads of space in, loads the, of space. Uh, in the wall. Yeah, cool. Oh, look. Look at these. Big puppies. <laughs> They're very cute, aren't They're they? They're cool, aren't they? And they look... Well, it doesn't look like there's any nipped fins or anything, so... No, this group's been together quite a while now, so yeah, they're, uh, I think they've settled, really. In a planted tank, potentially a planted tank, yeah. so obviously it's growing in. Yeah, well, I think the customers bought these, so they're waiting for their home, so uh, I think they moved them in here to keep them off system and out the way sort oh, of thing. Okay. Oh, OK. Yeah. So we can't have them. <laughs> no. I would like to do that, though. I think there's more puffers. Oh. You'll have to excuse the horrendous uh, background music. <laughs> well, it's not horrendous, I mean, like, Christmas songs. Yeah. It is Christmas time, for those of you that don't know that, if they're watching this back. Oh, there is puffers, Matt. Yes, there is, South Americans. Oh, they are lovely. They're cool, aren't they? How are these as groups or... Anything? Fairly peaceful, actually. The South American puffer fish is probably one of the more peaceful puffers. Um, so how many should we get? Get a group of, like, six or so, if you wanted. Really? Yeah. OK, cool. They're chilled out. I've seen them, like, I, I wouldn't, but I've seen them kept in, like, community tanks as such, with, like, tetras and things like that. No, no, I'd want them to be the, the Like thing. a species only, yeah. yeah. yeah That's how sure. I would keep them. Um, but yeah, I have seen them kept in... Well, I suppose we done it with the pea puffers, didn't we? They're just essentially a similar version, but just a bit bigger. Yeah, did they get much bigger than these? Not a great deal, a tiny bit, um, but yeah, not, not massive. Yeah, because I don't want tank busters. No, no, they're like a like sort of eight, ten centimetre fish, so yeah, not big at all. OK, that, we might be on for... We haven't even got... Like, we've got one bay into... We've got one bay in and I'm already like we're taking those home. <laughs> um, hang on, what about feeding and everything like that for those? Are we set up for Do we have to have specific... We'd need to make sure that their beaks are kept trimmed yes. by obviously feeding them shelled things and bits and pieces like that. But so I can buy those in the supermarket, can't I, and put them in our freezer? Yeah, yeah, and we can use, we can get pest snails. We've got loads of ram's horns and stuff that they'd probably chew on and like, yeah, just keep their diet. Through. I know um, Alex, who does all the fish here, has had them in there for ages and he's been keeping them. He said he was feeding them a specific diet and it was doing really well. So we'd just copy whatever he's doing. Okay. Um, before we go through a load of freshwater stuff that any salt water people watching don't want to see. Should we go straight over to the salt first? Yeah, let's go to the salt. Yeah. So the, uh, the, the marine room here is sort of cordoned off, and that's because they only want specific people coming in. <laughs> I think there's, there's a, lot of, a, lot of, uh, a lot of children come through this shop. Yes. So it ends up that hands go into coral trays, and that's not necessarily the healthiest thing, because yeah, yeah. corals do release a lot of slime. For the kids ideal. and for the corals. Yeah, for, <laughs> for more the kids, I would say, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a good idea. But look, we've got a whole room to ourselves. Is this a private... A private viewing? Private viewing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Oh no, Matt's just told. I just said to Matt, "Are we allowed? We're not allowed fish today, are we?" No, let's get it more settled than this. Yeah, fair enough. But if we do look at how cool these these are, just cows for me. Yeah, they're cows. Are they called cows? Uh, snowflake clowns. That's so it's awful. all to clown. It's, it's all to do with the patterning on the white. So like, ah. oh different yeah, that's ones, a snowflake. Yeah, different ones have different patterns, and then you get like gladiator clowns that have like uh, like a chin strap sort of thing going on. They're my favourite up the top, the Storms. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're wicked. They're more cow than yeah, the other they cows. Are. They're probably my favourite. So they would be a pair? Yeah. Yeah. They might still be, obviously, they're still juvenile, so they might still be sorting out their hierarchy. Um, but yeah, they'd be fine together. You can see how they're acting. They're going to be good. There's so many different clowns. Yeah, it's just where they've been bred now. So they've been tank bred, and a bit like your platies and your guppies, they've been bred for the colour, and that's the same as these. They've just bred some with more white, some with less white. It just, yeah, how it goes. What, are these the Wyoming? Wyom, Wyoming? Yeah, so yes. sort of, well, again, it's, it's dependent on the supplier that you get them from. Yeah. Um, so some people will have their own specific names for their own specific clowns. Um, but yeah, they are essentially like Wyoming White. I can't remember what the, the, the thing is with a Wyoming White, but yeah, they'll be very similar. I, these are the ones, I had one of these and I had a traditional. Oh, here you go. Well. This is Wyoming White, supposedly. And what are they called? Uh, platinums. So they're Platinum. Platinums and they're Wyomings. I have no clue what the difference is. I, I can't see a difference no. either. But these there will smaller, be. But there yeah, will be yeah, a difference, people, people just will not know. to us. People will know. And I actually like these as well. Yeah. So they're just standard black and whites. I like the uh, clowns that are, are they tomato, are they called? Is yes. Tomato? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot more of the orange. Yeah, a bit bigger and with like a bar across the eye sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, but at the moment, I'm, I'm really liking the... Uh, the snowflakes or the the storms. Yeah, the storms are probably my favourite. There's a bit more size on the snowflakes. Yep. Which uh, is that still going to be a cake like a pair of those later on in like our size tank? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. A pair of clowns in there should be absolutely fine. Yeah. And obviously, you know, we've got the bigger tank that we're going to set up anyway. That's so true. That's true. We can always move them on, keep them in there for a bit, and then move them up through. Okay. Oh, so many cool things. Oh, look, here we go. Here's some coral. Uh, oh, this, I like this. I like these here. That's an anemone. Yes. Well, many an enemy, actually. How many would that be? One, One two, it's, Yeah, depending like on the mouths. Six? Easily, yeah. Yeah, they're gorgeous. gorgeous. Yeah, I love that. I do like also the ones that are like fingertippy. Yes, yes. But I'm basically just talking about what yeah. I've seen on Finding Nemo, aren't I? Pretty much. <laughs> that might be a coral you're talking about, because you do get finger corals. So oh, OK. Maybe a coral, because that, that there would be a similar species because okay. um, when they're juve when they're smaller obviously you see the it's obviously large there so how long's this been growing would you say <sighs> it depends like it could be with the right care you know that could be a quite a short period of time really you could be looking at six months to a year um, <laughs> that's not md short no no that's it that's, <laughs> i yeah, would have broken valid. it down by yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah didn't grow take it out yeah bored of that Okay, so that's considered a fast... Is this the sort of thing we can... Yeah, that's a soft coral, so it'd be very easy to grow for us. Um, and it's very easy to um, cultivate as well. So, okay, yeah, awesome. literally, like one of those limbs, pair of scissors, take it off, and then you would just literally... There's many different ways of doing it, but get it to seal itself to a rock. Um, yeah. And that's it. Okay. Um, what about what we're here for, like the critters? Are they sort of dotted around everywhere? That's cool, isn't that's it? That's a lionfish. Look. Little baby lionfish. Well, they're not babies, they're fuzzy dwarfs, so they're the smaller lionfish. Oh, do they stay that size? Yeah, yeah, well, a little bit bigger. Probably double that-ish, somewhere about there. Are these the ones that are poisonous? Venomous. Venomous. So is, is there a difference? Yeah, venomous is if you get stung by it, poisonous is if you eat it. OK. So puffer okay. fish are poisonous. Yeah, yeah gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So the fox faces here, these white and grey ones, they're, they're venomous as well. Really? Yeah, yeah. Everything in it is going to kill us. Yeah, pretty much. No, they're not too bad. Well, that's a true lionfish there, look. Oh, that's yeah. a proper, proper lionfish. That's the sort of yeah, he the even, one you think about. He looks angry. He does. Cool. Yeah, but yeah. We're not having him. No. <laughs> yeah, just one. Just, just, yeah, maybe in a different spe species specific tank. Yeah, we'll just do a lionfish tank. No, we are going to be here somewhere. Okay. So oh, yeah. be... so we've got snaily snails. Yeah, oh, got... That's awesome. Is it goby? Uh, Mandarin goby. Uh, so they're related. Um, Wow. Yeah, I can't remember if they're related more to blennies or gobies. They're probably all the same sort look, of thing, look, really. Look, it knows I'm here. Yeah. It, it's, it's cichlid-like, you know? And then they've got, yeah, little hermits. So we've got some different types of hermits, look. Oh, and there's shrimp there as well. 
Yeah, you've got, um, those are uh, peppermint shrimp, so they're good for eating Aptasia, not that we've got any of that. But. And the crab? Uh, depends what species that is. I think it's a Sally Lightfoot, so, yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, they'd be, you know, if we want one. It's not oh, too Oh, I like worried. these. The shrimps, yeah. yeah. I had those before. And That'd they did be cool. a great job of helping me out because they did get a bit of an algae bloom and they, they cleared it in no time. Yeah, they'll pick up all different detritus and different foods and bits and pieces. Then you've got an arrowhead. Um, crab as well look next to them. Oh yeah, they get massive, don't they? Fairly big. They're like they're not bulky, but they're just um, wide because of their leg span. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this one. Look at this. Oh my. What was that? That's a dancing shrimp. So they can be. Um, they're good, but they do like corals. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we've got some snails. Yeah. Starfish. Not yet. Oh, okay. So not enough food for them. Clam. Not enough food for them. No. <laughs> no. No, starfishes and clams require quite a heavy amount of food coming through the tank. Um, so like snails and crabs, um, things like that are going to be easy for us to feed because they'll pick up on a lot of things. And when we want to, we can put pellets in for them as well. Whereas starfish and filter feeders like the clams yeah. need a mature system to get enough food going through. Okay. Uh, behind us, we've got the selection of corals and yeah. things. I don't know what I'm looking at or where I should be looking. So but... this whole tank here is all soft coral. So oh, yes, I had that. I had that. Yeah, yeah. Jazz. Uh, I think it's called jasmine sort of coral. Comes out and goes. Tight There's a few again. trickier ones, like you've got some sponges and some gorgonians and things like that that are a little bit trickier. But the majority of that is all fairly easy to care for. Yeah. Um, and then. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. This that's thing. all. That's all hard coral. So yeah. Hard as in hard to keep. Hard as in got a skeleton. Okay. So yeah, that one there that you're pointing at, that's actually on a plate that will be about, yay, yeah, round, like a round disc, essentially. Okay. Oh yeah, and um, like that, but bigger. Yeah, pretty much, and flat, like a plate. Okay, I'm... Um, uh... But yeah, all of that are, nope. Oh, but it's wavy. Yeah, no, no. We don't want that. Come it'll be, on. It'll be hard. Okay. And this probably, isn't the only shop we're going to, though, so... And probably 150 quid. No, 90 quid. Like, yeah, whatever. Too bad. It's Not worth too it. Bad. <laughs> I'm in now. I'm in. <laughs> Once I start spending... We're getting rid of all the fresh water. <laughs> it's all bin it off. Get rid of it. Don't say that, because people have been worried about that. That is not happening. No. A couple of saltwater feature tanks is what we're doing. Yeah, that's it. It's just fun to do something different, isn't Until it? Until I get addicted bit. to something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cat shop mats on its way, I tell you. We're getting rid of all the fish. It's just cats. <laughs> Right, I think what I'm going to do is uh, <laughs> make the selection with Matt and then we're going to unbox it back at the studio and put them in the tank and keep it a little bit of a surprise, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the size. I did not, I have never, Matt, seen that. They're I, good, aren't they? I've never seen... I can't believe that. Yeah, they're chunky. What, what yeah, look. the... <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. I yeah. did not know they got that big. Yeah. They've had them here for a fair, like, quite a few years now. That is insane. I'm saying that, from the top, it's, it, it's not far off what I've seen the biggest ones, at your old um, yes. one. But it's, it's the side panel. Yeah, you it's, don't, you don't appreciate how big they are, no, do you? No, not at all. They're <laughs> like puppies. Yeah, oh yeah, so much. Once they get used to you and they know that you're going to feed them, that's it. Well, I've got to get, got to get a pond now yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> Where does it end? We can aquascape that. Some big rocks in the oh, back. Oh yeah! If I was to do it, yeah, like you get this it, kind of style. It yeah, you get it a meter have. bigger, and then you can build inside with the rocks. That's what you've got to remember. Is you a lose a lot of space. Yeah, because once you get rock work in here, yeah, the true. space is Oh, I see, to gone. account for the rocks, make yeah. it a meter bigger than the actual space exactly. you want. Exactly. When I was doing the ponds, you had to build everything slightly bigger because you're going to put a 30 yes. centimetre rock in it. So, yeah, it was annoying. You had to sort of think about it. I love them. Yeah, they're so cool. Yeah, you could literally just sit down here with a beer. Yep. And just chill out and watch them for ages, couldn't you? Yeah. Throwing in a bit of pellet for them. Oh, yeah, done. Right, let's make <laughs> a start. God, we've got a great selection of fish here. These are big boys, all of these. Are they the mascara? Yep, mascara. Yes, look at me yeah, learning. Yeah. Look at me learning, Matt. Yeah, they're lovely fish. Yeah. Look, uh, they don't look aggressive either. I wouldn't I mean, put them in with a guppy, no, but like, small, but yeah. As long as you keep them with relatively sized yeah, fish, right. they're look fine. Look at a rainbow in it. Oh, oh yeah, like the greeny sort of sheen that you get to them. Yeah, very nice. Oh, look, my favourites, the uh, fairy cichlids. These are decent size as well. Yeah, really look nice. Look at that one. The tails on them, gorgeous. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! And everything down to babies. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess think, they've been breeding, haven't I they? I think so, because, yeah, you look in that tank, there's little ends in the bottom, look. Oh, yeah. Literally 
brand new ones. Awesome. So we've got more cichlids there as well, Tanganyikan. Cold water. Cold water. Specifically, this music. Isn't it? Just stop, okay? <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Massive selection of live bearers going on here. You've got your platys, you've got your guppies, mollies. Some of my favourite is a uh, bronze quarry. Just hardy is like a really good first fish choice, I would say, for any tank. Oh, look at the diddy peas. They're so cool, aren't These they? are tiny, tiny. Yeah, proper Literal babies. peas. <laughs> got some nice discus, quite young, but... Uh, good colours. Yeah, good colours, very good colours. Some genuine autumn angels there. Babies, obviously, because they <laughs> one wouldn't fit in that tank later no, on, would they? <laughs> no, top to bottom, it would be full. Look at the amount of trumpet snails in this tank. I actually quite like the look of it. <laughs> yeah, they're um, they look like they're um, a type of um, what's it called? Rabbit snail look, because there's the adults in there. So I think they're baby rabbit snails. And they're just going and going and going. Yeah. I mean, it looks good now, but I imagine that'd be a pain after a while. Yeah, the amount your of tank. food that you'd need to put in there <laughs> yeah. to keep them happy. So they've got some really nice pearl gouramis here. They've only just came, come in, and uh, if you move them too often, like if I was to take those today, then they're more than likely to get too stressed and get like ick or some kind of infection. So you sort of got to leave them for a little bit, but I want to come back for some of those. So on the desk area, they've got this like shell dweller tank, and I really love the dimensions of it for a shell dwelling tank, because one of the problems I find, or not, problems but like if I if I was when I've set up one, one yeah. before half the tank yeah. or more is just empty you need yeah because this tank's probably half of what it normally would be so yeah, yeah once and you've it, got that it feels double more full you yeah know, it does yeah, it, it pulls you in to have a look yeah look at all the babies. babies babies floating around there I just think it looks great it's it does. a it's a cool look actually if I was to do one I think I'd do it in a shallow like this I do have a shallow don't I yes you do the 70 yes. yeah yeah Oh, there's an idea, there's an idea. So we were just talking about getting the, uh, the puffers and uh, Matt's asked what we're feeding just to ensure that their like, beaks stay sort of worn and, and all that. And most people think it's snails, don't they? But that's not the case, is it? No, they, they've done some uh, sort of scientific data now on them and they found that it's only 2% of their diet is actually snail-based. Majority of it is because of where they come from in the rainforest, a lot of the stuff falls from the trees. So it's actually right. insect matters, ants, bugs, all that stuff, that's what we actually feed on. And since we've been feeding them mealworms and other insects, I've never seen growth and health like we yeah, have Yeah, they look so good. So let's have a look. this is the mealworm. So they're live mealworms. <laughs> we have to get a load of that. So how many would you feed for, let's say, because we're looking at a group of six. Well, well, I mean, it's one of those things that once you know, once they've eaten, they've got their fat old bellies. Yep, you know, you know, you know those. that. Oh, they love it. Look at that. Well, and these and there's enough sort of like crustiness to them that keeps their beaks. Yeah, the, the chitin in the in the skins and the, the head pieces and stuff like that helps to keep their beak well trimmed. Obviously, the main thing as well is keep them on sand because of course they would yeah. get through the sand substrate too. And again, the sand granules and stuff, which yeah. then again grind down their teeth. But if you keep them on gravel, their teeth just overgrow. Okay. So. Okay, sand it is. Also. If I couldn't get hold of live ones, could I feed dried ones? I would have thought so. I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to, because but it's monitor still, it yeah, just monitor it. And the main thing is they're getting the nutritional value, but yeah, they absolutely smash the mealworms, like I said. Oh, I'm I mean, excited. there's always been bloodworm in the past, but obviously this new data, it's made a massive difference to their health. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's brilliant, brilliant info. Oh yes, let's get six. <laughs> let's get 12. No, no. All of them. Six, six will be good. Yeah, that'll be cool. <laughs> this, uh, this, this is what it's all about. I mean, there will be some people that like this. And, uh, well, let's face it, a young girl's gonna like that. Like, you never listen to me. You never listen to me. We should do a sand waterfall. So, this is above and beyond the sand beyond. waterfall. Is that Hogwarts? <laughs> is that Hogwarts? I think it's based on Hogwarts. It does look a bit like that, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, with the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite cool. <laughs> and action. A action, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> we have presents. No, they're not presents, but it's like Christmas. Every day. Is that everything? Yes. Yes, we've got everything. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's kind of hard to show everyone in bags. So should we just put things in one at a time? And yeah. even then, it's not going to look great for like a few hours, is it? Yeah, it's going to take time for it to come out and stuff. But the best thing though 
is the six puffer fish that we've got here, which obviously aren't going in the salt water tank. Oh, are they not? <laughs> no, they're not, no. We've got an awesome thing planned for those yeah, they're gonna in be a cool. future episode. But we just got today some of the basic things like the snails that we're gonna need. Look, look at the little crab. There's a little hermit there. And we've got a few um, corals as well. So we're gonna get them temperature acclimated and water acclimated and everything. Then we can put them in. Can't we, is it as simple as that? Simple as that. Okay, corals. Do corals behave, do they have to be acclimated with like drops and stuff like that? You know, Depends. like shrimp. Yeah, it, I'll be honest, I've, again, there's many different ways of fish keeping. I've heard of some people just popping them in and you know. That's what I did. Yeah, go with it. <laughs> and some people will take time acclimating them and things like that. I like to sort of err on the side of caution and I'll acclimate them, but just like there I did, is. I did a few yeah, cups of the water. Exactly, a little jug of water every now and again, and just keep going like that. But yeah, there's so many different ways and it depends what, how, where. And yeah, yeah. There's a lot of ways it work. Do we need to check the salinity of that water versus ours or anything like that? We shouldn't do, no, I've checked ours when we, before we left, so it should be all good. Okay, cool, let's just get something in to start yeah. with. Right, we're gonna start acclimating and everything, but uh, Matt just wants to do a quick check just to make sure the salinity is right. It should be right. A double, triple, quadruple check. Because Yes, there's a bit of evaporation, but we've only added RO, which means the salt level should be the same, correct? Yeah. Oh, we've tightened it up, it's all blurry. Arr! Yeah, spot on. It's spot on, yeah? Yeah, cool. Okay, cool, let's begin the acclimation process. Right, we are acclimated, so Matt's just been adding little scoops of our tank into there over a period of time. And they're all ready? Yep, ready to go. Okay. What would uh, you like first? Uh, hang on. <laughs> Let me spin around so I can get a good view of what we're doing. Um, should we go some snails first? We could go snails first. Yes. All and three of them are in a little bundle in the corner. I've deliberately not cleaned anything. Like there's some diatoms and everything up the glass. It's on the uh, on the sand as well. Because obviously the snails are going to need food. Yeah. A food source. Um, how active are these? Like They'll start moving in fairly quickly. Oh, that's all of them? That's, yeah, there's a little bundle of them. They, <laughs> they, they were all separate when I got them out and then... Uh, oh yeah, they're they... already moving. Right, so the next 20 minutes is going to be me just watching these move. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm sure that's riveting. <laughs> Absolutely, like, top-end content. <laughs> <laughs> and what's next? Uh, Did we'll we get do... a variety of snails? Or... No, we've got the same snails. Uh, what, oh, sorry, what snails are they, Matt? Uh, trochus snails. Am I, gonna, am I saying that right? I'm just... Hang on, just checking. Are these the ones that go into the substrate, or these ones stay on top? They stay on top. Okay. Yeah, they'll stay on top, so, uh, yeah, that is right. In my previous Black tank, pets. I had snorkel ones. Yep, Nasurius. Can yep. we get some of those at some point? We can get some of them, yeah, once yeah. the um, sort of life has built up in the substrate, in then the we substrate, can get some yeah. of them. Okay, so, yeah, because that makes sense, because they're going to stir that effectively, yeah? Yeah, yeah they'll keep moving it around they'll and gravel stuff. vac for us. Pretty much. Yeah, Ideal. Pretty much. Okay. Um, next up, get those crabs. I want to see those crabs. You want to see those in. How many did we get? We got three. Oh, yes. We need to get some bigger shells for them at some point. Oh, of course, because they as they grow, them. they're going to want to... That's it. We'll put, we'll put them up on these rocks and they can go for a wander up here. They're going to be shy, aren't they? Oh, no, no he's coming out. Yeah, no, they're already like... Away. He's like, I love this space. <laughs> I love the purple. <laughs> It's Matt Fish Shop Matt Purple, purple, isn't it? It's Fish Shop Matt. It is. They didn't have any algae, did they? No. We're gonna have to order some more online, I think. A few different bits. Yeah. I've still got a little bit of hope for this oh one. Oh my word! He's gone. Oh, I did. Oh yeah, yeah. Back round the corner. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See, like, and this one's trying to get in that little hole, and that one's going as well. But that's what I like. See, this is why I want lots of little things. I like to be able to come over and go, "Where's this? Where's that? oh there he is? He's doing that." Yep. That's so interesting. Me is, isn't yeah, it? that for me is way more interesting than a couple of big things in there that you can't. I think that's the one thing salt water has got over freshwater for me is all the weird and wonderful little the, things. The variety of different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Like you get it in freshwater with shrimps and snails, but but it, that's it really. Shrimps, yeah, snails. that's it. The, you don't get a lot of the variation. Not that all live together anyway. No, that's true, yeah. But then I suppose that's why you can have this one that's full of little critters, and then this one could be a full anemone setup, for instance. Yeah. So you, you're sort of covering yourself yeah, exactly. by having multiple types of tank. But this can be the critter tank. Yeah. The critter rock pool tank. Critter rock pool, I like yeah. that. Nice. Yes, critter rock pool. There's the name. It is. Episode two, job done. <laughs> right, see you next week. 
I've got oh, corals, no, we've got yeah? corals, we've got corals. No, I was joking. I've got to find some spaces to put these on. They're on frag plugs, so... They're on what, sorry? Frag plugs. Let's assume I don't already know what that is, and let me ask you what that is. So it's a little piece of, like, ceramic that they glue corals to. So, yeah, and that's a little mushroom. Why can't it just be on a bit of rock? Because uh, little bits of rock is quite hard to come by, like right. lots and lots of them. Yeah. So these allow them to obviously glue them to something, that then can be pushed into like a grid system, right, so then so they can sell it and, sell it and things it like looks that. tidy, and you can yeah. yeah. Most of the time, you, well, sometimes you can leave them on. Sometimes you'll take them off. We'll see how this guy does. I might end up chopping the bottom off at some point, but we'll see. Okay, well we've got little holes that it can sit. That's in. it. Well, we can sit here. So what's that one, Matt? That's a little green mushroom. <laughs> Now, I might need to glue these in in a bit, but we'll see. He's all right. He's solid. He's fairly Unless solid. The hermits. That's decide to knock the only it off. problem is if the hermits decide to go for a wander and move them about. If we want to glue that in, we can just put super glue on it outside the water, can't we? And yeah, then I think put so. Put it down in, and then it sets. Exactly. Yeah. Super glue gel. Super glue gel. Yes. And then this one is uh, big zoas. So these are, I think, they're pally zoas. Are so zoas the ones that grow like and spread? Yeah. Okay. Cool. He's going to look cool on that corner, I reckon. So obviously they're all a bit closed up at the moment. Although that greener, that mushroom's got more open yeah. literally just then. So hopefully these ones will, we'll come back to them all obviously in a little bit and see how they're doing. They look much better under these lights than not under the lights. There's as you'd a imagine. hole there, look. I've popped him. Look at that one. He oh, fits, he fits perfect. Fits perfectly in there. And what's that one? That's another type of zoa. And that was, I think, a yellowy one. Cool. You can sort of see the yellow on the inner ring, but yeah, I didn't see it. Adam, Adam picked out the nicest frags that he had for us. It wants to focus on the diatoms, but it's fine. There we go. Yes. Okay, cool. Right, let's leave it for a minute. Come back when they're hopefully showing us a little bit more colour and uh, the snails. The snails have started moving would be nice as well. But, oh, they're just, yeah, they're, yeah, they're digging of, about. Sort of waking well, up. The hermit crab came and said hello and now he's off down that end. Oh, did he really? Yeah, he's on oh, the yeah, there he is. <laughs> Cool. Okay, I'm starting to get much more excited now. I just need 150 little things in it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have, of course, got the puffers as well. Now, they're going to be going in their own dedicated three-foot tank that's coming soon. It's being posted to me. Haven't received it yet. We're going to do a cool... Well, they're South American fish. Amazon puffer is what like the common name is. So we need to do an Amazon tank. Of course we do. And Adam from the shop has said to me that we need to make sure there's a sand area as well because when they pick their food up out of... That, like anything that's on the substrate, just going through the sand and sifting through it will mean that they, they it, it's like unsharpens their beak or grinds it down if you like. But that's fine, I, I like to use sand in an Amazon style tank anyway, why wouldn't you? So we can do something so cool. I want to do a jungle setup for them. I just think the six of them in the cover, it's going to work well. Have we got any, we have got spare tanks, I know that Matt, but there's six, so we've got six in total. Yep. They're not small. No. But will they be okay in one of these 45s? For a minute, we'll keep an eye on them just to make sure there's no aggression. But yeah. I don't think they'll be too bad. Obviously, the tank that they were in, there was a lot more of them, so the aggression will be Dispersed. diffused. Yeah. And, but I think they'll be absolutely fine. So I'm just going to catch out the couple of little guys that are in here. There's a couple of little algae eaters in here. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we'll pop them in there, probably with a lid on as well. Yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I've got, we've got lids. Yeah, yeah. there's a lid over here that's not being used. Exactly. So we're all yeah. good. I've okay. just realised, though, that the water level's too high in that tank, so... OK. Are they ready, Matt? They've been acclimatised and they're all ready to get. Oh, look, they've got colour as well yeah, already. Yeah, they're looking good. They look awesome. The water level is brimming, I didn't realise. <laughs> Might need to take some water out after, yeah. but yeah. Let's see how they behave in there. I mean, we're not going to know any aggression straight over, but we're still here for quite a few more hours, so... Yeah, that's it. We've got the little bristle noses in there that I may need to catch out. We'll see how they do. See I think they they'll be OK. There was, um, there was some catfish and some plecos in the tank with them yeah. um, on the bottom under the bogwood, so I think they'll be OK, but... And they seem to love the uh, mealworms so much, they probably aren't going to see anything else as food. so chunky. They are, so, yeah, I don't think there'll be too much of an issue. Everyone was saying, weren't they, these are the best they've ever seen come in, but also what they've been feeding with the mealworms. Yeah. So, I've yeah, one thing that Adam said as well is to um, gut feed the mealworms yes. with, with fish food yeah. and then feed the mealworm. It's like double bubble for yeah. protein. And, Absolutely. And, yeah, okay, so we, we bought a load of mealworms as well. Yeah, here they are. So we've got live mealworms. I'm gonna get some um, dried ones as well, but whenever I'm going past the shop, which isn't near me, but whenever I am, I'll, I'll get another pack. Apparently it can last about two weeks when they're small ones like this. So yeah, all good. If you keep them cooler, apparently that slows down their growth rate so they can last a little bit longer as well, but not fridge. 
Yeah, he did say that, didn't he? Yeah. Don't freeze them. No. <laughs> Stick them in, Matt. Are you ready? Yeah. This is very... It looks so good. Very close to the water level. See, I, don't get me wrong, I like a pea puffer, but they're just so small. These guys are a little bit more characterful. They're like little puppies. Yeah, they do seem like that, like happy puppies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's two. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, where's the other one? Completely different, those two. Look at his face, or her face. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> They're just quite comical, aren't they? They're like swimming balloons. Yeah, they're so cool. Have you ever had these? Yeah, I've not kept them at home. We've kept them a few times in the shop. Yeah, I remember seeing them myself in the shop. They're not cheap, by the way, guys, if you're after these. Uh, I thought, what was it for these? It was 220? Something like that, I can't Something remember. Something like that now. for six. Uh, but there was a deal that was free, free of them was 120. So yeah, I got six. So it's not cheap, but... They're such an amazing fish that I've wanted for a long time. I was just scared of the whole feeding thing. Yeah. But since hearing that from Adam... I'll be honest, yeah, watching them feed, they're always one of those fish that's a little bit sketchy on feeding. Yeah. But watching them feed on those mealworms, yeah, no worries whatsoever. No, no. And look at the health of them. They've probably been... How long have they been in the shop? Quite a Did while, I think, yeah. Adam was saying they had had them for quite some time, so... So they've been in the shop for quite a while yeah. and they still look this good, so that just goes to show. Yeah. Cannot wait to do this out for these guys. It is going to be it's going to be one of the best ones I've ever done. I'm, I'm putting it out there now. Just the fish as well, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, it's going to be something cool. It is a new day. Let me just... What, what are you doing? My tag was hanging out of the back. <gasps> it's a new day. Look over there. There is no longer oh. a tower. I, thought, I didn't know what you were looking at. Yeah. <laughs> so it's been several days since we put in all the bits and pieces into the new coral tank, and uh, here's how it's doing... Oh. What's happened, Matt? Ball green. We, we got rid of it. Rid of it didn't work. Everything died. No. <laughs> we have moved over here. Oh, that probably looks cool on camera. Here is the, where the marine tank is now set up. Next to the desk. This is great. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. Now, Matt moved it over here. There's an episode coming up. I took everything down. I had to go away. Then I came back and Matt set it all up for me again reattached some of the corals in certain places, didn't you, Matt? Yeah, yeah, the, the hermit crabs decided to move a few of them, so. Yeah, I came in, in over the weekend, and one of them was split in half, and it had been, like, pushed around everywhere. <laughs> there was a snail eating the bumper side of the algae, wasn't there, of one? It, like, turned it over, and yeah. Yeah, but they're all out, look, and they all look really, sort of, happy. Is that, well, as far as I, yeah, I can tell. Smiley faces. <laughs> Is, yeah, they're, they're all out, so that's a good sign. If they're out, they're happy, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. So the mushroom one, does it go bigger than that? Yeah, it'll go a lot bigger than that. Um, but depending on the time of the day, I'm guessing, yeah? Yeah, no, it changes depending on where it is in its cycle of, like, essentially it's got seawater pumping around in it, so it might expel some of it at some point and it might be feeding. Oh, is that what it does? Yeah, it definitely Okay, tell me about it, because I haven't got, I just thought it comes out and stays out. Oh, no, it depends what it's doing. So obviously the mouth in the centre can feed on microscopic particles. So, right. Yeah, you can sometimes have it where it's eating and it will be like going smaller to feed. Sometimes obviously it will be getting larger to get more sunlight because essentially the colours you're seeing is the algae within the salt, within the body of the coral. Ah. So you've essentially got two sort of, well, this, yeah, simplest way, it's two living organisms together. The algae is inside the coral and then you've got the body of the coral. I did not know that. So the algae creates food for the coral, the coral gets bigger, the algae has somewhere bigger to live. So you need algae? Sort of, yeah, but not algae like that. Oh, OK. <laughs> Within the coral. I see. It's, it's not, yeah, it's a bit more complex than that, but it's probably the easiest way to explain it. OK. But what I thought was quite interesting is obviously we had all of this, was it diatom algae? Yeah, sort of, wasn't it? That brown sort of film algae over the bottom. Yeah, that's all sort of gone. The snails have, well, so at least mulched in. Yeah, they will have moved it around and obviously the uh, hermit crabs will have probably had a go as well. And it'll obviously, it's just as it's maturing, so that algae will burn itself out and then a new algae will appear in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure, that will annoy us for a week or two and then that will go away. Yeah, so Matt didn't clean the glass deliberately because, you know, we've got that life in there. They need a food source. There's still a little bit on the front, but we're just going to leave it. There's no point, is there? Yeah, there's no just... point worrying about it. It's, it's not detrimental and it's not like it's out of control. So, yeah, it's not the end of the world to have it there. So yeah, not a huge amount gone into the tank now, but it's all part of the process. Uh, we don't want to be too quick. In the ne next episode, though, we're going to really go to town with quite a few more things, aren't we? Yeah, I reckon so. Like more sort of fluffy corals. A few more, yeah, a few more different corals and... Yeah, more critters. More yeah, definitely. Yeah, we want those little crabbies as well. What are they yeah. called? 
Uh, porcelain crabs. Which aren't really crabs, yeah? Yeah, they're squat lobsters, I think. Are they? Yeah. Pretty More sure. knowledge to come. <sighs> Say bye. See you later. Because this is a really long episode, but it's day. all been interesting, if, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe, a little bit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, really not in a good mood today. I'm mean today, aren't I? Yeah. I'm mean. <laughs> well, we did loads. If you remember, we've oh, been we've to shops and yeah, stuff. The, the, we've been got the like, puffers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love I mean, that's them. not marine, but yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.